Well, happy Easter, everybody. Happy uh, good Sunday morning. Um, I hope that today, Easter, will be something extra special for you and you will think about the miracle that it is and uh, exactly what <clears throat> this day represents and signifies uh, for us to being able to start anew uh, through His grace um, and that you will make it an extra special day. So. Anyway, happy Easter to all of y'all. My thought today is on resurrecting our mindset. Um, you know, sometimes we, we uh, allow things to uh, lay dormant in our minds that affect us physically, mentally, emotionally, health-wise, every way. Um, as opposed to praying about them and giving it to God or trying to release those things that basically are, make us become prisoners and, and shackled to negative bad ideas or situations or outcomes that were less than uh, positive, we allow those things to harbor within. And, <clears throat> and they, they sometimes can take over who we are um, as a, in our actions and in, in how we deal with ourselves and others. Um, and what we need to do, just like today, the, the signification that um, Christ died on the cross and, and was resurrected today, we need to resurrect our minds into the right kind of thoughts. Um, thoughts become actions. Uh, you know what you think you reap so to speak and so we need to resurrect our mindsets for good and for positivity um, not out of fear and out of failure but out of forgiveness and loving of ourselves um, and knowing that we do have a higher purpose and that bottom line we are forgiven whatever we did wrong yesterday last week or you know with ourselves or somebody else or or if somebody else hurt us um, uh, or tainted the way we might think of something or life or a direction or whatever that today is a new day we could rise above whatever happened to us in yesterday last week last year last decade but that we have to choose to resurrect the right kind of mindset the right kind of place from our heart things that are serving in positive ways, uh, things that help build us and help us to uh, have a purpose with ourselves and community um, and, and other people as well. <clears throat> but it's a choice, and what we see, what we reap, we sow. So be sure that you, um, you know, if, if there's things that are laying stagnant in you, whether they are, you know, um, mindsets that you know that you want to accomplish or do or you know it, or something along that line or even if you, you know within yourself you need to forgive somebody uh, you need to release something or or even if you want to reach out to somebody because you just want them in your life um, resurrect those things that are positive and uplifting of whatever they may apply in your life that you can move forward and have good positive motion and direction uh, to applying in your life. Um, it also means to, you know, to release those things that are holding you, that are keeping you shackled and a prisoner to, to, to your own self by having negative mindsets, uh, negative attitudes, uh, which in turn cause negative actions. So, you know, there are so many good things within us all, but we have to sometimes dig deep and resurrect those things, those ideas, those heartfelt emotions, and put them into action and own them so that they can come to fruition or so that we can have a direction um, going forward and productively, uh, fruitfully for ourselves and others. So whatever's, whatever you're holding back that maybe you're doing it out of fear 
but you know it's something within your heart and it's a it's a from a good place and an, an, an honorable place a humble place but you're just afraid to to let those emotions those feelings show um, and they're earnest and they're genuine and, and whether they're thoughts or their actions whatever resurrect them don't let them lie dormant within you just to not be used those gifts that God gives you those those positive affirmations tell them to yourself and to others so that you can be purpose filled and that you can still you know go in the direction of your heart and maybe even speak to others along the way and help them in their journey so that's my thought today um, be sure to only resurrect what's positive and what's uh, heartfelt and let all the rest go. Let all the rest pray about it and release it. And, um, and, and know that you are destined for great things and, and just trust the process and know that all is well and that, um, that you are never alone and that you are destined for great things. So anyway, have a fabulous Easter. Keep resurrecting what's awesome within you and let it all, everything else go that is stagnating you or that's keeping you a prisoner from becoming your best. Okay, so live, love, be. Easter blessings be yours. Talk at you later.